gentlemen and beautiful ladies. Guys, today we're going to do a stir fry. Now this is real simple. All you need to do is have some meat. Get some chicken, pork, lamb, beef, almost any kind of meat you can think of. Shrimp. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. The main thing is what you're going to season. Go through your refrigerator, find the stuff that you like, you know, preferably some onion. You got to have some onion, you know, in the stir fry. Some type of pepper, bell pepper, or bok choy, or cabbage, or whatever. Just go through what you like. That's what you're going to stir fry. The biggest trick to this is cook your meat first, and then throw in the vegetables according to how fast they break down. Like if you throw in carrots, throw them in first if you want them a little soft. I prefer all my vegetables crunchy. So it's, it's more of a technique than anything else. And you can have some Chinese food right at the house. Simple, quick, fast and it works out great. Now let me show you what I'm going to use today. I'm actually going to use some of this Kiko Man stir fry sauce. Just find a, some type of Asian sauce that you like, like oyster sauce, maybe some of this, you know, just go down that international aisle and pick up what you like. Maybe sweet soy glaze, I always use this a lot, but that's really all you need. Kiko Man soy, or any type of soy you like. That's really all you need. And of course, I am going to be adding this. So it's this today and Kiko Man stir fry sauce. Okay, guys, let's go through the ingredients. Found some green onions. I found a couple of hot hatch peppers. These hatches are just awesome. I guess they're in season because I found them at the store. Got some carrots. And we got some green beans. I'm going to add a lot of those green beans. And for the meat, chicken breasts. Now you all know how I feel about chicken breast. Chicken breast is clay. It's good to make something else out of. It's not good just to cook chicken breast for any reason. You know, you, can, you gotta add something to them. It's kinda like lettuce. A lot of people like lettuce, you know, they say, I love salad. Yeah, the only reason you love salad is because you dump ranch dressing on it. You know, or blue cheese. You add some type of fat to it. Otherwise, lettuce and a salad is just crunchy water. That's it. It's crunchy water. And chicken breast, all they are is, is clay. You know, you eat them, they taste like clay, they're just no flavor, they're dry, whatever. They just don't have any, if you don't season them or do something with them, they're just a, a something to build something else out of. You know, you, you take some clay, you can make a pot, you can make a cup, you can make a salsa, you can make a plate, you can make a pot, you know, whatever. That's what chicken breast is. And of course I got them, and I'm not a big fan of them. So you gotta dress them up, season them, and then do something with them. Yeah, I don't like chicken breasts. And you know, it's just the way it is. But, we can build something out of it. And you don't have to do this, but what I did is I took these hatch peppers, I cut them in half, pulled the guts out of them, all the seeds, and threw all that away. Just didn't want a bunch of little seeds floating around in my, my stir fry. So, that's what I'm at. I'm gonna cut these into like little strips. We'll be good. All right. I <clears throat> cleaned up all my green beans and just cut them to the size you want. I actually prefer mine kind of long. Green onions. Don't get me wrong. These guys here. Like I said, I'm going to make little strips out of these. Okay, guys, time for the nastiness. Chicken breast. These are pretty big and fat and thick. So I'm going to cut them in half, like that. I'm going to cut them at a severe angle across the grain. So you get little pieces like that. Now I just cleaned my cutting board, so for all you friggin' people out there that freak out, oh my god, it's chicken on a wooden cutting board, you know, go away. So, I'm going to marinate these a little bit. Like that. Get your hand in there. All right, preheat your wok. Check this out. And right there. Okay, y'all, let's do some cooking. Add some olive oil. Those are pretty much done. In about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Get some stuff out of here. More olive oil. 
Now what I said about the vegetables is add different ones according to the cookness that you want. <laughs> That's a new word. But I like all my stuff crunchy, so I don't care. Fajita seasoning. This goes in everything. Alright guys, it's been a couple of minutes. I'm gonna add this stuff now. And we're gonna add back in the chicken now. Okay guys, that's done. You gotta admit, it looks pretty damn good. All right, guys, let's pull this out. All right, let me show you my current situation. You seeing all that? Look at that. And it tastes pretty darn good. Deal is, you really want to serve this with some rice on the side so it looks all international. Uh, I didn't feel like having any rice today, so I just tell everybody I'm on my Atkins diet, which this probably is Atkins approved. You know, it's all protein and vegetables. It's all natural and organic you know gluten free anyway rock on check it out let's do that taste test all right let's watch me eat I have a green bean I got a piece of that hatch pepper these hatch peppers are real mild they just got a different flavor from bell pepper damn it I caught it <laughs> anyway guys and that chicken breast that chicken breast looks pretty good, doesn't it? That's because I changed it from the clay that it is. Man, that's tasty. A that Kiko Man doesn't have as big a kick as what I'm used to. But for your average Yankee, it'd probably, probably be okay. Probably could a little use a little more salt, but I am a salt addicted, so leaving it, cutting back on that salt a little bit. Probably, you know, not adding the straight soy probably a good thing. Man, that, that's that's good. Alright, hatch pepper. You know, this is kind of like Chinese fajitas. Awesome. Chicken's tender. Flavors are there. And if I wanted to, I could add a little cornstarch and water to that, made a little gravy, have the rice on the side. Hey, you're in business. It's that simple. And it, it only takes five minutes. I don't know why everybody goes to McDonald's. Ah, I like to go to McDonald's. It's fast. Or Chick-fil-A. Oh my God. Yeah, everybody loves Chick-fil-A. I see the lines. My wife loves it. My kids love it. I just can't do it, man. It's a chicken breast. And what do they have? Oh, we got a barbecue sandwich. We got a ranch sandwich. We got, yeah, they're changing the chicken breast because it's clay. I... Sorry, just having a moment. So just deal with it. Anyway, y'all, I appreciate you watching. That's how you cook some chicken stir fry or chicken breast stir fry. If I had my idea, I'd just use dark meat, you know, thighs and all that type of thing. So, just quick stir fry, whatever you got in the refrigerator, just rock on with it. It's not a problem. You can do it in the skillet and you can have a nice little meal at the house. So, hit like, hit subscribe, check out the Hogs Home channel, and I appreciate you watching.